Why do toy cars have metal bottoms? The weight trick that makes them feel real. Have you ever picked up a toy car and noticed that the bottom feels heavy, even though it's tiny? That metal plate, ISNT, just Decker seen it, is a clever trick that has been shaping the toy industry for decades. Toy cars, especially die-cast models, are designed to feel like real cars in miniature form. Early toy makers discovered that if a small car is too light, it feels cheap, flimsy, and less satisfying to play with. Kids want that solid, real car feel. And metal bottoms give exactly that. The technique goes back to the 1950s, when companies like Matchbox and Hot Wheels started mass-producing miniature cars. They use set die-cast metal for the base, while keeping the body plastic. This combination made the cars sturdy, durable, and fun to roll on tracks without braking. The metal also adds balance, making it less likely for the car to tip over, spin out, or feel awkward in a child's hand. But it's not just about feel. The metal bottom improves performance, especially on tracks and ramps. The extra weight ensures momentum carries the car further, and it keeps the center of gravity low. So the car doesn't deflip easily. That's why those tiny toy cars can speed, crash, and roll perfectly just like the real thing. Interestingly, the metal base became a sign of quality. Collectors still prefer die-cast cars with metal bottoms because they last longer, feel heavier, and look more authentic. Even when the body is plastic, the metal gives it credibility and a sense of realism that lightweight toys simply can't match. Next time you pick up a toy car, run it across a table, or push it down a ramp, take a moment to appreciate that hidden engineering. That small metal plate is a centuries-old design principle in miniature form high weight weight. Balance and durability, and suddenly a tiny toy feels like the real deal. So the next time your hand brushes against a die-cast car, remember it's not just a toy. That metal bottom is a tiny trick of physics and design that transforms plastic and paint into something that feels alive.